Once you've replicated your lens in Fusion, we're going to start making our frames. We're going to right click and we're going to create a new component. Let's slow double click and call this our frame half. Again, we're just going to do one side and then mirror it so that everything is perfect. Now that we've selected this new component, there's a couple things you can do. You can draw a sketch and import it into Fusion. You can find a picture of a pair of glasses and use that as a design guideline, or you can try to freehand sketch in Fusion 360. I'm going to import an image of a pair of glasses that I think will look good, and then I will trace the outside of the frame. So I'm going to insert on the same plane we've been selecting, that front plane, and I will select my image. I want to make sure that it's also centered on that origin. So I'll go to my front view. I do need to scale my image so I can scale the X and Y. And this is going to be a little tricky, but I want to make sure that it lines up perfectly with my frame. We can see that these glasses are a little bit different and they're smaller than the glasses that I would normally create. So we may have to scale in just the Y and you can play with some of your values. Once you feel like you've gotten something that looks about what you'd like, we can start working from there. I'm going to use the outside of this frame as the profile for my sketch. To do this, I'm going to create a new sketch. And again, I'm going to use that spline tool to draw my outside shape. But before I do that, I'm going to create a line and I'm going to use that same plane again. And I'm going to click construction or X, click on the center, make sure it's vertical. And I don't care about the distance. I just need to make that line here across the bridge where the nose goes, and that'll allow me to have a start and stop reference point. Now I can go to my spline, fit point spline, and I can zoom in and start about where I'd like to go. I'm going to do just this half and create as many points as necessary. Once you're done creating all of your lines, you can click the green check. Now here, if we hit escape, we can now start adjusting to the shape that we desire. If you notice here, my spline comes up. You want this to try to be as straight as possible at the bridge. So if you can, just bring this a little bit closer and adjust this point here. Now we have a much neater symmetrical point. Once you have the outline of your shape, we can go back to that line tool or L and connect this center to this piece here. And that should close off this set of your half of your glasses. Let's hit stop sketch. And if you like your design, you can hit E on the keyboard or create extrude. And you're going to extrude this, the depth of the material, which is three millimeters. So type three on the keyboard, make sure it's a new body and hit okay. That should give us a half of our sunglasses. And again, if we hit our down arrows, and turn off the canvas, we can turn off the lens as well. And there's half our sunglasses.